I never used to smile, man. In South London, you don't smile at people. But God softened my heart, man. Yeah. And one day I'm with this kid, and we're walking, he's about that age. We're in the woods, this little boy, he's a beautiful little boy, curly hair. We, every, every couple days I take him with me to the prayer place. We call it the prayer place. Come on, Jake, let's go to the prayer place. We go in the woods. And I'm walking with him and we're praying. I say, what do you want to pray for? He goes, let's pray for mommy, okay? Now we're going to pray for daddy as well, okay? We pray for you and we pray for the pastor and everyone. And as I'm taking him home, God speaks to me. And that's the reason, the reason I'm telling Richard. you this is because this song was written that very day, right? So God spoke to me that day. As I'm walking with that little boy, and he said to me, you love your son, don't you? And I said, yeah. And he said, I love my son. But I let him kill him. So that you can be saved. Now. And in that moment, I fully understood the gospel. Because my son was a beautiful little kid, man. And I wouldn't give him up for nobody. In fact, I would kill for that kid. And I realised Jesus was someone's kid. He was God's kid. It's deep. What, what, what God did in allowing his son to be murdered so we could be saved. And I wrote this song. Listen to the words.